So with the release of 2021 yesterday, Autodesk has finally added in a few things that we have been asking for for a while, mainly the dark theme. Another thing that they've added for us is drawing automation. Now, Up until now, the options anyone who's used iLogic has had have been incredibly limited. Thankfully with 2021 that has all changed. So over the last few hours I've put together a quick model and a drawing for it which spans over two pages and I just thought I would show you a few of the options we have now. So for my model I've used the add and remove components method which was included in 2019 instead of the suppression methods that were used in the past as I just think it's a lot better. So if I change to option A I'm going to update the bomb to make sure and we're going to go to my drawing. So straight off the bat we can see that's updated as it usually would and I'm just going to click this update drawing. That will then go ahead update both sheets of my drawing and we can see we've added in a few dimensions. So we've got diameter dimensions, the balloons are added and these two dimensions for the location of the hole. Now we've got the correct views coming in over here which was just standard unsuppressing views when they're required and we'll go back to the model. So with my model I've got a joining pin which when set to true puts the holes in they're, they're all threaded into the required parts and we'll see what happens now. So we can see we've got the extra components that are now in our view and I'm just going to go ahead and update that and we can see we've it's added in our whole note information, so the tap that is required, the dimensions to where it is, as well as anything else it might have needed. We also have the extra view coming in here of the standard part pin that I included. Oh. We've got center lines coming in, center marks, and as you can see I've just got a location dimension over there and our parts list is all up to date. Balloons have updated so we've got the three balloons showing the three parts. So if we go back to my model I'm going to change that back to option B, update the bomb and we'll see that this now has the same corresponding hole. So we'll go back to my drawing, I'm going to update that once more. Again balloons have updated, our parts list is updated, we have new dimensions, the same center lines and it's brought in the views for the required part as well with center lines, whole information and dimensions. So what are the new things that they've added into 2021? We've got angle dimensions, diameter dimensions, radius, linear dimensions, hole and thread nodes, drawing nodes, balloons, center lines, center marks, pattern center lines. Now the nice thing about all of that is in creating this drawing I used no API. Everything that you've seen on this drawing can be accessed through the snippet so it's 100% iLogic. In the next few weeks we'll be looking at creating a one-day course just to update everyone who's been on previous iLogic courses so you can all start taking advantage of the new features as soon as possible.